Hello and welcome to Sunday's show at the Wacky Bookshelf. For those new here, this channel is all about books you didn't know about. If you are a returning subscriber, we thank you for watching our videos and building the channel. We are a community of explorative readers, and we are always open to new book suggestions. All of our book reviews can be found in the description below, along with our merchandise and book blog. Please leave a like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel for new content. Thank you for your support, and now on to today's book. The Old Man and the Sea is a timeless novella by Ernest Hemingway, first published in 1952. Set in the waters off the coast of Cuba, the story revolves around an aging fisherman named Santiago, who has endured a long streak of bad luck in catching fish. Determined to prove his worth, Santiago embarks on a solo fishing expedition and after days of struggle, finally hooks a massive marlin. The novella chronicles Santiago's epic battle with the marlin, and the profound connection he develops with the majestic creature. Hemingway's simple yet powerful prose captures the essence of human resilience, the triumph of the human spirit over adversity, and the age-old struggle between man and nature. The Old Man and the Sea is a timeless masterpiece that has earned Hemingway both critical acclaim and the Nobel Prize in literature. The Old Man and the Sea is a profound and poetic novella that unfolds the story of Santiago, an old and impoverished fisherman living in a small Cuban village. The novella opens with Santiago waking up on the 85th day of his unlucky streak without catching a single fish. Despite his streak of misfortune, Santiago remains determined to prove his fishing prowess. Santiago's character is portrayed as a resilient and dignified man, filled with wisdom and experience. He is admired by a young boy named Manolin who once fished with him but is now constrained by his parents' belief in Santiago's bad luck. Despite this, Manolin still cares deeply for the old man and helps him with fishing supplies and encouragement. Santiago sets out alone on his small skiff into the Gulf Stream, hoping to find fish in the deeper waters far from the shore. On the first day he catches a small fish, which he keeps as bait for a larger catch. As Santiago sails further, he feels a tug on the line, and after a grueling struggle, he hooks a massive marlin. This marks the beginning of a monumental battle between man and nature. For days, Santiago fights against the powerful marlin, enduring physical pain, exhaustion, and sleep deprivation. His hands cramp, his body aches, and the sun relentlessly scorches his skin. Throughout the battle, Santiago maintains an unwavering determination and respect for the marlin viewing it not as an adversary but as a worthy opponent. During his solitary ordeal, Santiago engages in deep introspection, reflecting on his life, the nature of existence and the profound connection he feels with the sea. Hemingway's sparse and evocative prose captures Santiago's inner monologue and the beauty of the sea's vastness. As the days pass, Santiago's mental and physical fortitude are tested, but he refuses to give in. The struggle between the old man and the marlin becomes a symbolic representation of the struggle for survival and the indomitable human spirit. Finally, after three days of relentless struggle, Santiago successfully harpoons the marlin. Exhausted and elated, he lashes the marlin's carcass to the side of his boat and begins the long journey back to the shore. However, Santiago's triumph does not end there. On his way back, he becomes the target of hungry sharks attracted by the scent of the marlin's blood. Santiago valiantly fights the sharks, using all the tools at his disposal to protect his prized catch. The sharks eventually manage to devour most of the marlin, leaving only its skeletal remains. Santiago returns to the shore, physically broken but spiritually strengthened by his remarkable experience. Upon his return, the villagers are in awe of the marlin's bones, recognizing Santiago's valor and skill as a fisherman. Manolin, deeply moved by Santiago's display of strength and perseverance, reaffirms his commitment to learning from the old man, despite his parents' disapproval. The novella concludes with Santiago falling into a deep and restful sleep, dreaming of his past adventures and the lions he saw in Africa as a young man. The dream symbolizes Santiago's enduring spirit and his unwavering will to live life to the fullest, despite the inevitable challenges it presents. The Old Man and the Sea conveys several profound messages and takeaways. 
Resilience and perseverance. The novella celebrates the indomitable human spirit and the power of resilience in the face of adversity. Santiago's unwavering determination and courage serve as an inspiring example of human perseverance. The nature of existence. Hemingway uses Santiago's introspection to explore the nature of existence, the interconnectedness of life, and the human's place within the natural world. The human nature connection. The novella highlights the deep bond between humans and nature, as Santiago views the sea as a friend and fellow living being. It emphasizes the importance of respecting and cherishing the natural world. The triumph of spirit over material. Despite losing the marlin to the sharks, Santiago's victory is not in the physical possession of the fish, but in the spiritual growth and wisdom he gains through the experience. The beauty of simplicity. Hemingway's minimalist prose captures the beauty of simplicity and the profound impact of understated storytelling. The Old Man and the Sea is a timeless and moving novella that explores the themes of resilience, human spirit and the enduring connection between man and nature. Hemingway's masterful storytelling and evocative prose make this work a classic in world literature. Santiago's epic battle with the Marlin serves as a symbolic representation of the human struggle for survival and the resilience of the human spirit against the forces of nature. The novella's messages of perseverance, appreciation for the natural world, and the triumph of spirit over material possessions leave a lasting impression on readers, making The Old Man and the Sea a timeless and unforgettable masterpiece. And that concludes Sunday's Wacky Book Summary. Thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed this content, please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to the channel. This book and many more can be found below in the description. You can support our community by engaging in the comments section and share if you think others would enjoy this content as well. Thank you again for visiting the channel, and we will see you around soon.